Measurements can range from very small to very large. For instance, this number is the approximate mass of a proton, and this number is the approximate mass of the Earth. Writing these very small or very large numbers can be tedious and many times difficult to understand. So we have scientific notation to help us. In scientific notation, the mass of a proton is written as 1.67 times 10 to the negative 27 kilogram. And the key number is the exponent of negative 27. What this basically means is that we had to move the decimal point 27 places to the right to get a single non-zero digit in the ones column or in front of the decimal point. We use the term times 10 to a power because we're multiplying a number by a power of 10 to get it in scientific notation and make it easier to comprehend. So the expression 1.67 times 10 to the negative 27. If we do the actual math, we have 1.67 times 1 over 10 to the 27 because a negative exponent means you put 1 in the numerator and the actual number in the denominator of the fraction and the exponent becomes positive. 10 to the 27 equals this number. And we have 1.67 over this number, which equals our original number for the mass of a proton. In scientific notation, the mass of the Earth is written as 5.98 times 10 to the 24 kilograms. Again, the key number is the exponent of positive 24. What this means is that we had to move the decimal point 24 places to the left to get a single non-zero digit in the ones column or in front of the decimal point. And here is the actual math of the expression written out. And again, we get the original number for the mass of the Earth. So the form of scientific notation is a single non-zero number, so 1 through 9 in the ones column, then times 10 raised to a positive or negative power. And very large numbers will have a positive power of 10, and very small numbers will have a negative power of 10. One more example. Let's say that a very wealthy lady is the CEO of a big corporation, and her net worth is estimated at this number. To write this number in scientific notation, we count how many places we need to move the decimal to get a single non-zero digit in the ones column, which will be right here behind the nine. And there are 11 places. So we will have 9.248 times 10 to the 11 as the scientific notation for that number. And here are a couple more examples written out on the screen for you. All right, my friends, hopefully you got something out of this video. I do have sh sh more videos right there for you. Till next time, I am out of here.